What's up everyone, I'm Rick Knight. Welcome back to, to another video here at The Bad Philosopher. Okay, so just a few minutes ago, I put up a video about Empire actor Jesse Smollett, that they, it was reported that he is now a suspect and, and not considered a victim of a hate crime. And now, uh, just I mean, literally 30 minutes ago, I put this uh, video up and now it's being reported that he is being officially charged with uh, disorderly conduct for uh, orchestrating a, a false uh, um, hate crime, for uh, uh, filing a false complaint. The article I'm going to read to you right now is from the Chicago Tri Tribune. Let's see. Let's pull it up on the screen. And here it is. So Jesse Smollett charged with disorderly conduct for allegedly fi filing false report about attack in Streeterville. Empire actor Jesse Smollett has been charged with disorderly conduct for allegedly filing a false police report about an attack he said occurred as he walked to his apartment building in Streeterville last month. The charge, the charge, a felony was announced by the Cook County State's Attorney's Attorney's Office Wednesday evening, hours after police called Smollett a suspect in a criminal investigation for filing a false police report. Uh, while initially investigating the attack as a hate crime, Chicago police recently said they were looking into whether Smollett paid two brothers he knew to stage the attack on January 29th. The brothers appeared before a grand jury uh, earlier Wednesday and testified that Smoll Smollett had given them money, according to their attorney, Gloria Smith. Smith. All right, well, I mean, pretty much that's it. They, um, they will arrest him. Uh, he will be arraigned. Uh, and he will go to court, most likely to Supreme Court, and um, and that's it. And he'll most likely be found guilty because he truly is. <clears throat> now, you know, this is the thing, you know, when something like this, like, we're all happy that we get to the truth. We're all happy that we can put something like this behind us. We're all happy that we could, you know, that the least amount of damage is true. Because if he really, you know, if he, if he really was the victim of a real a real attack and you know people are really doing this to people it kind of puts us in a really bad a real bad situation right it it it, it you know it places us into this you know in, into this you know uh, um this day and age where where people are still being beat up just for being for being black for being gay for being you know whatever the case may be and uh, and it's just not good for society it's going to further you know divide us and it's just you know it could just lead to a whole mess of problems going into the future so obviously the 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 better for everyone is if this is fake and it never happened and you know society is not as bad as an evil as everyone thinks it is that it's just this one this one dude who's just a jerk off and did something completely stupid you know, which is the better of all the outcomes that it could happen. But, you know, it's too late. The damage has been done. Um, you know, once the story broke on January 29th that he was the victim of, you know, of, of, of this attack, even though it was fake, it took this long to, to for him to be charged. You know, it, it just creates bad blood. It just creates a, a bad atmosphere. It just gets people arguing, people talking, people pointing the fingers at us. Uh, people, you know, when I tell them I support Trump, they're like, oh, you're one of them. And, you know, this is just another one of those cases. You know, there's been so many hoax. There's been so many hoaxes, one after the next, it, you know, in the last couple of years. Right now, you know, uh, don't mind the sirens. I, I live in Brooklyn. But th there's been so many... A, a, a hoax one after the next and every time something like this happens you know it it reflects on as people look at us they instantly believe cnn and msnbc and and huffington post and vox and 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 all the usual you know the usual suspects in, in progressive reporting and in, in progressive activism because that's really all these journalists are they're activists i'm sorry they're they're they're, they're, they're propaganda pro propagandas propagandarist and uh, 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 an activist. That, that's really what they are. So every time they print garbage like this, it just points a finger at us more and we're vilified even more and we're looked at in a certain light. So I'm happy that he was caught and I'm happy that every time one of these are a hoax, it, it, it gets brought out to light because people are going to start seeing that Trump supporters really aren't these this racist, hateful, bigoted, uh, 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 you know, group of people that the media has been trying to paint us out to be. So I'm glad Jesse um, is being charged. I'm glad he will be arrested and, and I'm glad he will have his day in court. Um, of course, I believe in due process. So you would have to prove that he is guilty. And if he is proven to be guilty, hopefully he will get what he deserved. Now, I don't believe that Jesse is a hardened criminal. I don't believe that he's a, a violent offender. I don't believe that he's, you know, dangerous. Um, 
you know, you know, as far as uh, what's punishment for him, you know, I'll leave that in the hands of the courts to decide what is the best outcome for, you know, if, you know, when he's convicted. Uh, hopefully, you know, I, I would really, really like to see an apology from him. With that, that, that would be a really good place to start with him. You know, apologizing for what he's done. I would like to see him maybe. Um, be financially responsible for the the money wasted in resources in investigating this situation. That'll also be a, a good thing. And then you know, I mean, may, may, maybe that would be the the, the good enough um, punishment for him. And then you know, and then of course he's going to be completely vilified by everyone. He's going to be shamed by all of us. So I think that would be a, a good punishment. You know that 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 he's going to be shamed by by society. That he um you know he apologizes for what he what he's done. Um, and then he's held financially responsible for all the, the the money that was put into the res, you know resources into the investigation into all the police and and everything. So um so that's it though. There you have it. Jesse Smollett has been charged with filing a false uh, a complaint, uh, a false re a police report, and it is I think a class uh, what do they say class four felony in Cook County in Chicago. So now off to the future, and we'll see what happens with this case. Um, and that's it. So check out my videos, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. I'm going to leave a link to uh, in the description to, to the Chicago Tribune article that I just pulled up uh, so you can read for yourself. And I will speak to you guys next time.